What up guys, Eric here from Racing Ram Fan. In today's video we are going to be moving these two gauges to on top of my steering column right here. We are also going to be data logging it today with my SCT tuner. Attach the wideband because it's a little bit of lean after we fix that exhaust restrictions. It's about 12.2 and we want her down in 11.6, 11.5 range. So my tuner is good for that. We just need to take this apart and hook up the data logger and show them exactly where it's starting to lean out a little bit. Yeah, because I don't know what KPA it's starting to lean out. Alright guys, so after you figure out wherever you ran your wiring to, you are going to be finding this white wire out of your AEM wideband gauge that comes down with your positive and negative wire and we are going to be actually hooking this white wire up to our adapter cable for our SCT3200 programmer. The two wires we are looking for is the orange and blue one. Orange is going to be hooking up to the white wire coming out of the uh, wideband itself and then the blue wire is going to go straight to ground. I'm going to use the ground from the wideband too so we don't get mixed signals from different grounds. And yeah, so if you guys are looking for any of this stuff, this adapter cable number is 1394, and that is the adapter cable for your SCT3200 tuner to adapt to a wideband. I am using an AEM wideband O2 sensor controller. So yeah, I'm going to get that white wire attached to this orange wire, this blue wire hooked up to the ground, and then we are going to run this baby and leave it underneath the truck, or leave it underneath the dash of the truck after we're all done so whenever I need to data log again I can just plug this guy in I don't have to go through the hassle of wiring it all in again. All right, as you guys can see the new gauge pillar is like Mickey Mouse ears that are gonna go like right there right where I took this steering column trim off so now we gotta run all this wiring back down underneath and pull it through I'm not gonna show you guys that because it's pretty boring I'll show you guys what the finished product looks like just like this we got everything hooked back up. We have the Mickey Mouse ear gauge pillar hooked up with our air fuel ratio gauge and our boost controller. Up here we have our oil temp and then we have a fuel pressure gauge which is not wired in yet because I don't have the adapter to adapt it to my fuel rail yet. Okay, so I got that wideband adapter wire all wired in. It's running right here. So the first thing we're going to do is plug it into our SCT tuner. And there's a provision right up there for it. And then we are going to do two things right now. I'm going to show you how to load a tune using your SCT tuner with a custom tune that your tuner will email you. And then I'm going to show you how to set up a data log so you can data log with your wideband O2 sensor. And how to set your parameters you want to watch and maybe how you read a data log. Then we are going to take our SCT tuner and we are going to plug it into my laptop here with this adapter cable. And then I'm going to sign in quick. Alright, so the first thing we are going to do when we are on the laptop is we are going to go to Device Updater. You guys can download these program softwares off of SCT.com. Then we are going to go... Well, we don't want to do a software update. We're going to do load custom tune file. Gathering information off device. So here's all my tunes that I have. Right now I am on the 93X4. 93X TX4 tune I believe. Um, we are going to locate custom tune. I'm going to choose my custom tune file that I just got sent over from my tuner. Which I downloaded off my email onto my desktop which is right here and then when you search for it all your tunes on your desktop should pop up we're going to click that one we're going to select it then we're going to select the location I think we're going to put it in the sixth spot right here because we still have a six spot open and then we are going to say program then we have to enter a tune description so we're going to write 93 turbo fuel 
fuel we'll right plus. So now we have 93 turbo fuel plus. Then we are going to click program. And then it is program. And that's how you do that. And that's how you get the program off your computer and onto your SCT tuner. Now I'm going to show you guys how you program from your SCT tuner onto the truck. So the first thing we're going to do is take our OBD2 plug in and we're going to plug it in underneath the truck here. Right, so then after we get it plugged in, we're going to go uh, So after we get it plugged into the truck here, we're going to go to Program Vehicle and click select, we're going to do custom tune, select, this product is not sale for California, sorry people who live in California, no, and then do not start engine, turn key on, and then you guys are just going to keep following the directions on the SCT tuner to complete your software update from the tuner to the truck, and that's how you load a custom tune onto your 04 Dodge Ram SRT10, or any SCT Right, guys, now we are going to be talking about setting up a data log for your SCT vehicles. So the first thing we are going to do is we are going to grab our laptop and hook it up to our SCT tuner. Just like that. And then we are plugged in instead of going to, oh hello. Now that we are plugged in, instead of going to device updater, we are going to go to live link gen 2 which again you guys can download off the SCT website. So then LiveLink Drive is going to pop up like this. And then we are going to have another page come up. We do not want to update for 2019 Ragers. So the first thing we are going to do, we want to data log a vehicle. So plug in USB. Again, just follow the directions as it says. Select, turn key on, of course. Um, you make sure your SCT tuner is plugged in to the vehicle at the OBD2 port down there and then also we have our wideband adapter plugged in so the first thing we are going to do is we're going to click check communication that is just telling us the laptop can talk to the tool and the tool can talk to the vehicle correctly which it can so then we go to check info and then we're going to select our manufacturer this is a 2004 Dodge Ram SRT10 which is an FCA Chrysler Group vehicle and then we are going to click select. And then all the parameters are going to pop up right here. If your tuner wants certain parameters, you can ask him. So now we have all our different data logs that we can log in here. If you guys want to watch your wideband, we have that hooked up to analog one right there. Output, which is volts from the ECM. This is actually not from the ECM. From my wideband, which is sneakily right there. So we are not going to, so if you guys wanted to, you can select all the stuff you want. So let's watch my wideband, I don't know, engine coolant temp, intake air temp, sometimes this thing pops up, you just click OK. Intake air temp, I don't know, engine RPM, vehicle speed, OK, so after we pick out all our things that we want to data log, which there is a lot more, if we scroll down, we have O2 sensors, we have calculated low distance traveled, we have timing tables, absolute throttle position. So after we figure everything out, we're going to click confirm data log. And then as you guys can see right here, we have all our things and all the data log parameters that we chose. And to start a data log, we would want to start the vehicle, be driving it, and whatever we want to data log like under wide open throttle or something we click this green one right here like right now it is I accidentally clicked it so as you can see I have an engine coolant temperature of 28 degrees Celsius and what is moving what is blue oh my wideband we have about 2.5 volts because it's 15.0 or something like that right now just because I just got done running the truck and it does hold exhaust gas in there. Intake temp is 21 degrees Celsius. So yeah, then after we are done watching, done with our data log, we click this red button right here. 
and it's going to ask us if we want to save our data log after we click this green button right here which is our go button there's a lot more other things you guys can do in here you can lay it out you can set different configs you can make all your settings different whatever you want to read on everything you got some crazy stuff you can set gauges up it's a pretty cool operation what you can do here but now we are going to show you how to read a data log so we're going to exit out of this we don't want to save this data log so we're going to click no and then we're going to over our, open our live links again and then I already have a data log so I'm going to go into my documents and it is right here we'll just do data log Oop. go into our documents and it is right here our data log one so we're going to drag that guy over and drop it right on the page and then as she is going to pop open and this is already a data log that I already took on the truck so as you guys can look absolute throttle position right here which is blue which we have highlighted on the screen right here so we're gonna scoot over to when I went wide open throttle as you guys can see it grew right here so that is wide open throttle um, it says 78% which uh, I don't know why because it is 100% throttle opening sometimes SCT when they read stuff they're values are a little off than what they actually should be so as you guys can see everything is changing down here rpm our analog our wideband our intake manifold absolute pressure ignition timing just about everything on here you guys can check out that sct allows you to check out but yeah guys i hope that helped you Put a custom tune onto your vehicle and learned how to data log a vehicle all using SCT. If you guys have any more questions or anything at all, please feel free to DM me on Instagram. Again, it's Racing Ram Fam, just like the YouTube channel. The link is always in my description below. But thank you guys for watching. As always, keep it boosted, and I hope you guys learned something in this video.